So there I was. I woke up with a heavy case of amnesia in the middle of nowhere. The only clue to my past is Harry's name and address inside this hat. So I made my way to the apartment, and that's when I found you and your stapler gun. You're a hallucination. You're a hallucination. En uno de los lugares más lindos de Tokio, este jardín se llama Hapoen y es un lugar precioso en medio de la ciudad y tiene de hecho bonsais de más de 500 años de antigüedad, eh, también tiene cerezos y un estanque y es el lugar perfecto para escapar del ruido de la ciudad y por supuesto para tomar un delicioso té verde tradicional de aquí. Así que mientras espero a que me traigan lo necesario para disfrutar de mi té, les cuento que también entrevisté a Justice Smith y Catherine Newton, protagonistas de Pokémon Detective Pikachu y me contaron un poco sobre el rodaje de esta película. You really get to interact with Pokemons here and you carry them and then you... Yeah. What do you have to when you're on set? Well, I had a side up on my back and he weighed 40 pounds. Like wow. He was heavy, okay? <laughs> He's not a joke. And yeah. luckily, because my Pokemon is a lot smaller, all I had was just like a small weight on my shoulder. But most of the time it was just pantomime, like acting like it was crawling and it was moving on my shoulder. That's great acting, guys. I have to tell you that Thank it's you. like, Thank it's you. amazing. And I have to ask you, like, do you feel like somehow just like Pokemon those themselves, this film chose you? It is kind of funny. I guess it did choose us because at the end of the day, I'm just an actor. You know what I mean? Like I, I auditioned, I chose Lucy, but I mean, they had to choose me too, mm -hmm. so. And how does someone become a Pokemon expert? Because I've heard that you are an expert, kind of. So, so. <laughs> I'll put I'll put your knowledge to the test. Oh, the cool, interview. awesome, I'm ready. <laughs> so how does anyone become like a Pokemon expert? Um, I think you just... Um, you do a Pokemon film, you do and a then Pokemon you learn film. everything. <laughs> and then you know That's everything. True. Yeah. But yeah, you just, like, if you love the games or the anime or the cards, Um, it, it's really easy to get sucked in because it's so enticing, this universe, you know, it's so magical. So, um, talking about the relationship between your characters, how, to, how would you describe uh, Lucy and Tim's relationship? Um, I think, well, Tim is definitely enticed by Lucy. Lucy represents a lot of things that Tim isn't. Like, she's headstrong and she knows who she is, and so he finds that admirable. Um, and so he kind of has like a crush on her. Lucy needs Tim to help get the bottom of the, get to the bottom of the story and help figure out what's going on with these Pokemon and help save them. So sh they need each other and they go on a crazy adventure. Shared experience builds meaningful friendships or maybe something else, we'll see. But I think uh, they just do something insane together. So they get really close. Yeah. So Catherine, from reporter to reporter, as yes. Lucy, what's the one question I should ask in this junket? The one question you should ask. <laughs> oh man, I immediately go, what's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on a bike, quick, get in front of him. Stop. Oh no, he's going down hard, Tim. Should have worn a helmet. I want you to choose a Pokemon for these circumstances. Which Pokemon would you choose? This is how your knowledge cool. is going to be put to the test, okay. okay? Which Pokemon would you choose to help clean your house? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Squirtle. Yeah. I'll go for Squirtle. <laughs> I was going to say the, the fish. Magikarp. Your Magikarp, because you, cause could you imagine when Oh my god, he knows everything. Just... Oh, right. That's <laughs> your true. entire house. And what if you get like. A floated. Well, it, you your, yeah, a floated. Your, yeah. your, your house would be very clean. So, which Pokemon would you use to help you make money? Pikachu. <laughs> Mr. Mime, because he can perform for money. Just put the hat in the street. Yeah. Right. There you go. Um, who would you choose to get a date? Togepi. Remember? Remember? Jiggly. Jigglypuff. Yeah. Snorlax. Oh, Snorlax. Bulbasaur. Is so I know. Oh. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur would be a good one. All of them, yeah. Which one would you choose to help you make your way through Japan? Ooh. Oh, maybe Charizard so you like, could fly. Nice, yeah, yeah. Charizard, I was gonna say a flying Pokemon, like Pidgeotto or Gyarados can fly. Gyarados <laughs> can fly? Can Gyarados fly? I don't know, Gyarados can't fly. Lastly, what would you use Ditto for? I would uh, play pranks on my friends. Okay. I would have Ditto like look like me. Oh, yeah, that's good. Play pranks on my friends. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. They try to talk to me all the time. All they hear is Pika Pika. Oh, you can hear him, right? Pika Pika! Yeah! Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him?
encuentran aquí Jabara, el lugar elegido por los gamers en Tokio. En esta zona hay muchísimas cafeterías temáticas de anime y manga y también es la zona donde nos podemos encontrar con muchos fanáticos del juego cambiando y capturando pokémones. ¿Se acuerdan de que hace tan solo unos años el mundo entero estaba completamente enloquecido con sus celulares tratando de encontrarlos? Aún quedan varios amantes del personaje deambulando por ahí porque es una zona particularmente plagada de pokémones. You can talk to humans. I can talk to Pokemon. And if you want to find your pops, we're gonna need each other. No, I don't need a Pokemon. What about a world-class detective? What was your first step uh, towards making this film when you find, found out that you were gonna do it? When I found out I was gonna do it, it was just, you know, flying to Tokyo right away, meeting with the Pokemon company, meeting with all the, the people who really created this worldwide phenomenon and, and listening to them and trying to, you know, delve into Uh, what it was that made this thing magical, and it's been around for over 20 years. How do you find balance between, you know, like the fiction and also getting a lot of heart in the film? That's what you strive for, is to try to get, you know, one is comedy and there's action and fantasy and all that fun, but also build a real human story, something that people can relate to, um, recognize the real world in it, and so, you know, leaning on the heart and the emotion uh, was key. And, and the actors brought a lot of that to the table. They they gave these performances, or very grounded performances in a very bizarre they are. world. You know, <laughs> Justice takes that Mr. Mime scene very seriously and it's completely <laughs> bonkers. And Ryan juggles comedy and, and and drama so well and it's so emotional and their, their chemistry together is really incredible. Amigos, les cuento que esta visita a Japón se está convirtiendo en un viaje inolvidable y tengo la gran fortuna de compartirlo con Valentina, mi compañera de Brasil. Hola, gente de Latinoamérica. Como dijo Gaby, sí, fuimos y estamos disfrutando muchísimo de esta experiencia. Oigan, pero Valentina no solo entrevistó a todo el elenco de la película, también tuvo oportunidad de entrar a un evento súper especial. Sí, estuve en la alfombra roja de Pokémon Detective Pikachu y les invito a verla. How do you think this movie will catch the younger um, audience that haven't seen any Pikachu or Pokémon uh, world? Uh, well, look, if you're doing, or if we're doing our job right, it, that's that's going to happen just because the movie should stand on its own, as opposed to it being an IP or something people know from the past. Um, but it's a beautiful story. I, I love the story even if you didn't have Pokemon in it. So it works. It works on every level. I'm really excited. What is your favorite thing in the story? My favorite thing is that there's a mystery. I love a great mystery and I love a great whodunit and that's at the center of this film. It's pretty awesome. What do you think is the your favorite thing in Japan that it appears in the movie? Oh, the street style and the fashion. I mean, I got a lot of inspiration from Tokyo style for my character Lucy Stevens. I thought so much about it. So that's my favorite thing about Tokyo is fashion. We could see that in the movie. It yes. was awesome. And yeah, and you look Tokyo. perfect. This is from the Tokyo collection of Valentino, yeah. Is this street special to you in any way? This whole area is special because this is what inspired the design of Rhyme City, which is the city inside the movie. And, you know, we mashed up London, New York, and Tokyo, but specifically Shinjuku, Tokyo, this area, the signage, the vertical signs, when you watch the movie, hopefully people will start to recognize the look of this. It was all done on purpose. Oh, wow. It does kind of look like the movie. I just realized that. Um, I mean, uh, Rob did an amazing job of blending the, the uh, making a Rhyme City have that East meets West aesthetic um, and making sure that we were uh, honoring the Japanese origins of the, of the, the IP. Um, so it, it's an honor to be here uh, today. So you're a talking Pikachu with no memories who's addicted to caffeine. I could stop whenever I want. These are just choices. Another round, extra shot. Black as night, thank you, sweetie. Muy bien amigos de Warner Channel, pues ya los llevé a recorrer todos los lugares emblemáticos de Tokio, ya les conté todos los detalles de la película, ya platiqué con los protagonistas de Pokémon Detective Pikachu, así que lo único que falta es que ustedes vayan al cine y no se pierdan esta entrega que seguramente les va a sacar muchas risas y los va a llevar de vuelta a su infancia. Nos vemos en el próximo Inside Warner. So let me get this right. We're forced to listen to this spa music so your head doesn't explode and kill us all. Sadak. You put that down. I am not giving you a massage. Uh, Sadak. Fine, fine. Hand it over. Uh.